Recent data from the CDC shows that between 2011 and 2021, the number of teenagers who felt persistently sad or hopeless increased. In 2021, 22% of high school students at one point seriously considered suicide. Psychologist Dr. Charmaine Jackson Jackman is joining us now via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, this hurts my heart when I hear these statistics. So, and this can be a very difficult topic to broach with children and teenagers. So I wanted to start, if we could, with middle schoolers. I mean, what's the best way to start the conversation about their mental well-being? So I think uh, it's really important to think about this conversation as one, one not a one and done. Um, it can feel really awkward for parents or caregivers to enter these conversations, but just know that these are opportunities to get to get a sense of what's going on for them. So thinking about asking both things that are going well for them and things that are not going so well. So you really want to give the range uh, and, and open opportunities for them to talk about a number of things that may be on their mind. And are there any tools that might help with not just middle schoolers, but also maybe high schoolers? Absolutely. So we're partnered with the Sound It Out Together campaign, which has a number of really cool resources to make those sometimes awkward conversations with your child um, a little bit easier to navigate. Um, so there are there's a platform um, both, that's available both in web and on the phone, um, which has great questions that you could ask your child and they can actually ask you as well. So it's a great way to, again, have a conversation. They cover a range of topics, including topics about emotions, topics about tough um, conversations and things happening in their lives like bullying, racism. So really great tools and a really great tool and really great resources and questions to, again, make those conversations less awkward. And do you have a suggestion as, as to at what age parents should start having this conversation? I jokingly say from the womb, mm. <laughs> but I think very early on, you know, even little babies, we can start just practicing and having that conversation about how are you feeling today? What's going on with you? Right. And I think that those are really important ways for parents and caregivers to start to model and practice not only for their children, but also for themselves. How are, how are we doing? Doing those check-ins, I think, are really helpful. And so the earlier that we can help um, children develop an emotional literacy, that's ability to identify and express their feelings, it equips them with a lot of skills. So when we, they get to the middle school, they're used to having those conversations with you. And then parents also have sort of a litmus, so they know what to compare it to if they've been having these regular conversations for years with their child and they've all gone very well and then all of a sudden their child's mood has changed significantly. They know that that's certainly a warning sign that something may be up. Are there any other warning signs that you would suggest that parents immediately pick up on and maybe ask for outside help? Absolutely. I think, you know, sometimes children tell us how they're doing and we ignore it, we minimize it. So if your child is saying they're having concerns, definitely tune in and pay attention to that. Another sign is noticing any changes in their friendships. Um, they may not be hanging around with people that used to or they seem more withdrawn or there are conflicts in their friendship group. Another sign is noticing that they're withdrawing from their activities that they used to enjoy. Maybe they're not doing their sports or they're feeling disengaged from those sports. Um, changes in their eating and sleeping habits. Those are really important things to tune into. And I also say, if you notice that they are talking, their talk is seeming more negative about themselves or hopeless, like, oh, I'll never make it to college or I'll never make it to high school. Things that just seem really discouraging. Those are really important times to check in, maybe check in with a teacher, check in with a school counselor, get a sense from other sources what other people are seeing with your child. So important to have those conversations and to have them often. Uh, Dr. Jackman, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. And we want to remind you about the resources that the doctor was mentioning, more information. It's all free. You can search online by going to sounditouttogether.org.